huge sinkhole is on the verge of swallowing a Norwood home. The house is condemned and the family has to find a new place to live. Let's take a live look right now at the still active scene. This is in Norwood. Uh, and once again, as we understand it, the sinkhole is, or at least was, under the basement of the house. I believe it's still under that house, Clyde, but you, you're seeing there on the street is that they're trying to work to excavate it and figure out what's going on. It is that house right there with the siding. Let's get more now. Nothing you want to wake up to in your home. This massive sinkhole in Norwood swallowed up a lot of attention Thursday. It also took with it irreplaceable family mementos. Everything I had that was worth value is gone. <laughs> you can't replace it. There's no money in the world that can replace what I had. The stuff you see here lurking on the ledges belongs to Justice Munoz and his family. He says early Thursday morning he found it swimming in about eight feet of water. Eight feet of water. So. I, I told him to get out of the house. Munoz went back inside to rescue his dog and anything else he could. The water was gone. And then I heard crinkling and crackling noises. And the, the water was gone. The problems, though, were still very much there. The huge gaping hole at 1912 Maple and city officials were there, too. How did it happen? Obviously, the slab in the basement underneath was undermined when the pipe failed. That's what caused the storm water that was running through the pipe to then come up through that sinkhole into the basement last night and then drop back down. Coming up at 6, Natasha Williams will walk you through the how the problem got started and what the family who lived here and the person who owned the home can expect now. If you're planning to get on the road tonight ahead of the holiday weekend, well, we want to